The notion of a brain drain refers to the fact that many trained individuals leave developing countries to live and work in wealthier nations. Just to give you a numerical sense of the phenomenon, in the typical developing nation, 7.3% of the citizens who have completed higher education live and work abroad. It's also the case in most developing nations that the higher skilled individuals are the ones most likely to leave. For instance, if we look at Cambodia, what we find is individuals who have completed a primary school education, while 2.6% of them have left to live abroad. If we look at individuals who have completed some form of higher education, we find that 18.3% of them have left to live and work abroad. The individuals who leave are typically well represented in fields such as software programming, engineering, being a doctor, or being a nurse. It's easy to see why this is the case. These are the skills which are relatively independent of knowing any particular culture or language. Fixing a broken leg is fixing a broken leg. Better educated individuals are most likely to leave when the developing nation in question is a small island nation or more generally when the developing country is small. Smaller countries, of course, offer fewer economic and cultural opportunities, and these educated individuals may simply itch to see a better and wealthier world. In these cases, the individuals with a background in higher education may leave at rates of 45% or 50% or sometimes even a little bit higher. There's plenty of talk about brain drain, but very often the relevant scenario is instead one of brain gain. And this is for three reasons, which I shall call acquire, replace, and remit. Let's look first at acquire. The fact that an individual may have the option of leaving his or her home country means that individual has a stronger incentive to become educated in the first place. In other words, the overall prospect of migration may actually increase the extent of education in a country. And keep, keep in mind, a lot of individuals who get educated and perhaps plan to leave the country end up not leaving. They may get married, they may have a child, they may need to care for their sick parents, they may simply have a change of heart, but nonetheless the prospect of emigrating abroad gives virtually everyone a stronger incentive to be better educated. Now let's consider replace. Replace means that if a skilled individual does leave his or her home country, that means there's actually a greater demand for skilled labor back in the home country. Wages for individuals with those job skills go up, and that increases the incentive for other individuals from the same home country to educate themselves, step into those jobs, and earn the higher wages. Finally, there is remit. Individuals who leave their home country and earn more money abroad typically tend to send back home money to the poorer home country. One study showed that the typical remittance back home per migrant was about $5,000 a year, and of course some of this money is going to educate other individuals back in the home country, typically relatives. For all of these reasons, the so-called brain drain phenomenon simply doesn't seem to be a major problem, and the phrase brain gain is often more appropriate. If we look at a country like India, large numbers of Indians have left India, they have acquired skills, they have earned money, and they have put money and expertise and talent and business connections back into the Indian economy back home to the benefit of both themselves and to the benefit of India. A study by Gibson and McKenzie suggests that the costs of the so-called brain drain in the home country are typically quite small if they're there at all. Yet the benefits to the individual who leaves and earns more money and possibly has a happier life, those gains are quite large. According to their estimate, the cost of the potential social externalities is only about 2% compared to the size of the private gains from migrating. Overall, the notion of a brain drain is a much overrated problem when it comes to developing nations. To read more on this topic, you can Google Gibson McKenzie Brain Drain and also read the essay by Michael Clemens, Economics and Immigration.